the Yankees and Rays play the fourth and final game of their weekend series at Tropicana Field. Tampa won two of the first three so far. There's the Yankees lineup that will face Charlie Morton. You'll notice no Giancarlo Stanton. He was placed on the injured list before today's game, and Tyro Estrada was called up. All right, let's get into the action, starting with the top of the first. LeMahieu line went down the right field line for a base hit to lead off the ball game. He stopped at first with a single off of Morton. Judge lifted one in the air to right field. Renfro made the play for the first out of the game. Hicks lined one into deep right field, and it was down for extra bases. DJ stopped the third, and Hicks stopped at second to set things up for the Yankees. Voigt walked on five pitches to load the bases with one away. Glaber, who has been struggling, lifted one in the air to shallow right field. This was not deep enough to bring in DJ, as there were now two outs in the inning. Ford was hit by a pitch on his elbow. He earned a very painful RBI to give the Yankees a 1-0 lead. Geo swung at the first pitch and grounded out to third to end the inning and leave the bases loaded. There's the Rays lineup that will face James Paxton. Diaz led things off, and he line went back up the middle and into center field for a single to start off the bottom of the first. Meadows struck out swinging for the first out of the inning. Martinez hit one on the ground to third. The Yankees turned a 5-4-3 double play to end the inning as Paxton was able to have a scoreless first. Sanchez hit one on the ground towards third, and it hit the third base bag. The ball shot up and went into left field as Gary had a leadoff single to begin the second. Gardner struck out for the first out of the inning. DJ hit one slowly to short. They got the force at second, but it was hit too slowly to be a double play. Judge hit one high in the air to right center field, and Renfro made the play to end a scoreless second inning for Morton, even though he already had a high pitch count. Renfro struck out swinging on a 92-mile-an-hour fastball for the first out. Rousseau hit one high in the air to center, and Hicks made the play for the second out of the inning. Lau was hit by a pitch to give the Rays a two-out base runner. Margot struck out swinging to end the inning. Hicks walked to begin the third, and this ended the day for Charlie Morton. Richards came in, and he got Voigt to strike out looking for the first out. Glaber walked to put two on with one away for the Yankees. Ford checked his swing and hit one back to the mound. Richards started a 1-6-3 double play to end the inning and get out of the jam. Adames struck out looking to begin the third as he was punched out by Cowboy Joe West. Zunino walked on five pitches with one away. Diaz struck out looking for the second out of the inning. Meadows flew out to right center to end another scoreless inning for Paxton. Urshela struck out looking to begin the fourth inning. Sanchez hit one on the ground to short, and Adamas made the play for the second out. Gardner sliced one the other way into left field for a two-out hit. He used his wheels and legged out a double to put a runner in scoring position for the Yankees. LeMahieu had a long plate appearance and walked to keep the inning going for Aaron Judge. Judge hit one hard on the ground to short. Adamas made a good stop and went the short way to end the inning. Martinez struck out swinging to begin the bottom of the fourth. Paxton caught Renfro looking on a curveball for the second out. Brasseau struck out looking as well as Paxton struck out the side in the fourth. Hicks grounded out to second to begin the fifth inning. Voigt lined one into left field for a one-out single. Glaber shortened up a swing and lined one into the gap in right center field for a base hit. It split the outfielders and went to the wall. Voigt went to third and Glaber stopped at second with a one-out double. Ford popped one high in the air to shallow right field. This would not get the run in, as there were now two outs in the inning. Urshela lined one in the air to deep center field. Margot went back, and he dropped the ball. Two runs came in to score on the error by Margot, and Urshela went to third, as the Yankees now had a 3-0 lead. Sanchez struck out swinging on a pitch out of the zone to end the inning. Lau swung at the first pitch and popped it high in the air in the infield. Sanchez made the play for the first out of the inning. Margot struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. Adamas grounded one to short as Paxton had another 1-2-3 inning. 3-0 Yankees through 5. Gardner grounded out to first for the first out of the sixth inning. LeMahieu line one the other way into right field for a second hit of the game. Judge hit one in the air to right and Renfro was there for the second out of the inning. Hicks struck out swinging to end the inning as Richards did a very nice job in relief. Zunino struck out looking for the first out of the sixth. Diaz chopped one on the ground to short. Glaber made the play for the second out. 
Meadows struck out swinging as Paxton was through six scoreless innings. Voigt led off the seventh against Curtis, and he lined one into left. Meadows charged in and made a nice sliding play for the first out. Glaber struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. Ford grounded one into the shift to end a 1-2-3 inning for Curtis. Martinez led off the bottom of the seventh, and he lined one into the gap in right center field for a base hit. He stopped at second with a leadoff double. Paxton left an 0-2 fastball down the middle, and Brasseau crushed it to left. All Gardner could do was turn and watch, as Brasseau had a two-run home run to make it a 3-2 game. Boone left Paxton in, and this backfired. Lau drilled one into deep right field. There was no doubt about this one. Lau ended Paxton's day with a game-tying solo shot into the seats in right to make it 3-3. Margot swung at the first pitch from Holder and flew out to left field. Adamas popped out to end the inning. I think I might have missed an out this inning. Oops. Urshela struck out swinging to begin the eighth. Sanchez struck out swinging as well for the second out of the inning. Gardner also struck out swinging as Curtis struck out the side. Choi led off the eighth, and he grounded one through the right side for a leadoff single. Diaz grounded one to short. They got the force at second, but were too slow with the turn to double up Diaz. Meadows line went down the right field line for a base hit. It went into the corner for extra bases. Diaz stopped the third, and Meadows went to second with a double to set the raise up. They intentionally walked Martinez. Renfro hit one on the ground to third. Gio got the force at second, but they called Renfro safe at first to give the Rays a 4-3 lead. It was a close play. The Yankees challenged it, and he was called out after review. The game stayed tied going to the ninth. DJ grounded out to Wendell for the first out of the ninth against Thompson. Judge hit one weakly into shallow center field, and Lau went out to make the play for the second out. Hicks grounded out to second to end a 1-2-3 ninth for Thompson. Rousseau led off the ninth against Britain, and he lined one into the gap in left center field for extra bases. He stopped at second with a leadoff double to put the winning run in scoring position for the Rays. Lau hit one on the ground to Glaber at second. He threw to third, and they got Rousseau for the first out of the inning. Britton bounced one, and Sanchez got lazy and didn't try to block it, which allowed Lau to move into scoring position. Margot walked to put two on with one away. Adamas grounded one to first, and Voigt took it to the bag for the second out. The runners moved up. Perez line went into right for a base hit. Lau came in to score, and the Rays walked off the Yankees on a game-winning single by Perez. The Rays won 4-3 and took 3 out of 4 from the Yankees. Tampa is now only 2 games behind the Yankees in the division. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one.